Why hello everybody, Spencer here, also known as LEGO Dude 11 and in today's video, this is my A Quiet Place Day 1 spoiler review. So without further ado, let's discuss. Alright, so as I just said, this is a spoiler review for A Quiet Place Day 1, and now I'm going to just start off on this, because I got some big, I got some thoughts on the movie, as well as something about the movie that's not about the movie, so without said, let's just, without said, let's just get to it. So, I kind of have some, like, like, stuff to get out of the way. So, the score by Alex Grappis, Grapsos, Grapsis? Sorry if I butchered the last name there. This is a, this is a soundtrack that is very, like, somber, mysterious, very out there. It's not a very action-worthy soundtrack, but I think that the soundtrack is very good for the film itself. It does its it does itself <clears throat> justice like the last two films did. And this is a very worthy predecessor in the Quiet Place franchise, I think. Some people will say, eh, maybe, maybe, I mean, it didn't get bad reviews, but some people will say, eh, it made a lot of good money the first weekend. But going on that, it's going out on digital th four weeks, like three or four weeks after, July 30th. So I'm very perplexed as to why. It's going going on digital the week after Deadpool 3 comes out. So I'm not too sure why that is. I'm sure that, I mean, it turned off people to not go see it. I saw it on July 4th, so it's like, okay. I saw it the weekend after it came out, but it's fair. I really want to see it. By the way, I apologize if there's fireworks going outside. It is 4th of July, so happy 4th. But the cast in this movie, which is <clears throat> Lupita Nyong'o is Sam. Eric is played by Joseph Quinn. We have Alex Wolf, who's playing a nurse in this movie, like the first act of this film. And I was like shocked to see him. I was like, oh my gosh, that's the guy from Old, the old, the movie Old by uh, M. Night Shyamalan. So I was surprised to see him in there. And then we get um, this great cat in there. Uh, if you guys remember me talking about Argyle that came out, it was the first movie I saw in theaters this year, Argyle. It had a cat in that. But I like seeing cats. I want a cat of my own someday, so it made me smile on the screen. It, ma it didn't make me smile on the screen. It made me smile while I was watching the screen. That's what it did. And uh, the action scenes in this are no doubt, I say action scenes, but the tense. This movie's very tense. So what I like about this, as you might, guys may know from the first two movies, <clears throat> and I say first meaning the part one and two, this is actually a prequel, if you guys did not know, this is a prequel to the first two films, hence it's called Day One. It's the day one of the drop of the alien crash landing on Earth. And I'm fascinated because when I, I'm not a, I'm a big horror guy now. I wasn't a big horror guy when I started getting into movies, but I'm a big horror guy now. And two of the movies that, were shown to preview before the movie came out, uh, or th that I saw before uh, Quiet Place. Oh, it's been a day. It's been a, it's been a summer. Uh, but were Maxine. Really want to see that. I love the first two, and then an Osferatu, and I'm really excited for an Osferatu. But this movie, Quiet Place, like it, it's horror, right? It has aliens. It has these creatures, right? I haven't. I need to rewatch the Aliens movies before I see the new Aliens because they played that too. That looks great, but. What this does, it's not gory. It is pretty tense. There are some jump scares. I like the jump scares. But I, this is a movie that I need to rewatch again for the lore, right? They don't do a lot to tell you about the creature lore. They don't do, you know, like the last two films, they don't do a lot in there, which I kind of like to know more about. I think the designs look great. Everything about it. Even when these aliens crash land, right? Because we saw it in part one, or we saw it in part two, when the first act of the movie... Like, they're at the baseball field, right? And then they show us the aliens crash land and John Krasinski and the family have to gather their stuff. Like, they're running away and then there are sirens blowing up. And So it's that instantaneous realization of the creatures are here. We gotta shh, be quiet. We don't know why they have to be quiet. or they don't, they don't know why they have to be quiet, but then they start learning. They start adapting. And that's the thing about this movie is they start adapting. And we learn a little bit more as to why... Like, they, like, this relationship about these two specific characters was one character named Sam, Lapita Nwango's character, and her backstory. And then this <clears throat> gradual... Excuse me if I, my voice sounds a little different than normal. I have allergies. Um, the little... Uh, how they adapt in this world where they suddenly had to be quiet because of the aliens. And it's just such an interesting concept that you're invested in. And not only that, 
But I, I love that this, like, like I said, when they crash land and you see the explosion or like the fire, like the, the at, I guess the atmosphere of this world, if that makes any sense, the design, the destruction, it's just, it's really great design. I like it a lot. And, um, there's the character also, we see Joseph Quinn for the first time. The cat actually is great. I love the relationship with the cat. <laughs> it's just so funny to see the relationship with the animal. The how the the cat works with Joseph Quinn, it's it's awesome. And then the the you know, it's Lupita Nyong'o's cat, Sam's cat, but I love that. And the bond character are bond between Joseph Quinn and Lupita Nyong'o in this movie because they're helping each other out through all this destruction, all this peril. And then the aliens, there's one scene in particular, I think it might be my favorite. Like, again, I have to rewatch this film, but seeing this in the theater with the sound design was awesome. I'm so glad I saw this instead of Despicable Me 4. What a great turnout. What a great decision I made. But it's like, I, again, I, there's one scene in particular where Joseph Quinn's hanging on this ledge, and you see the alien, like, climb up to his face, and then the cat's, like, makes some noise, Meow. and then the alien just runs off, and I was like, nice and it was so tense i love the music choice in there and right after joseph quinn is getting like this medicine from the store as he's trying to hide from the alien and <clears throat> you see him go back to the church where they're at and the no one goes like laying down on the pew and joseph quinn's like what do you like like he's just like having a heart to heart with her and she's like i like patsy's pizza and then they go to this I think it was a bar, and I was almost, I was going to say restaurant. It's like a restaurant or a bar, and she's like, where, where, he's like, where is your bed? I'd play piano. There's this bar, and there's this, there's these instruments, and she starts, like, playing piano. Not starts to play piano. She's, like, touching the piano, and puts the iPod out, and then he starts showing her magic tricks, and I thought it was a really touching moment. Their character arc was amazing. So I liked it a lot. I thought they were awesome. And Demon Hansu in this movie... Woo! Love that actor. I don't know. I don't know if he has a standout role in this, but he's a great actor. I just like seeing him on screen, so uh, I like him. But this is a film that I definitely need to watch again. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll tell you my final thoughts later. But with all of this said, right? I'm not sure where this franchise is gonna go. Uh, John Krasinski did this. I wanted to look up real quickly. Um, where? This, who directed this? A Quiet Place, day one. Uh, Michael Saronsky. Saronsky. And he made If? Did he really just do If? I know John Krasinski did If, but he, apparently he was a part of If, The Testimony, and Pig. I, didn't see, I haven't seen Pig, but that had Nicolas Cage in it. But this film, I really did really like. I really did like it. Um, it's a movie where, I, like I said, I gotta watch it again. The first two Quiet Places were awesome. I think this franchise can be big. Like, this isn't like a more grounded, I say grounded, but I say like it wasn't a high budget film, but at the same time, I'd like to see more. I'm a big horror guy now. I'm, I'm a big horror guy now. Sue me if you don't like horror, guys, but I do like horror. And there's people in there that do like it, and there's people in there that don't like it. It's, subje it's subjective, and it's your own opinion. Just like movies are. And I, you know, um, like I said, John Krasinski did direct, didn't direct, he was a producer on it. So I'm I'm happy about that. Um, let's go back to my notes here. Um, full character notes. Any of the final notes. So what happened was they're running, you know, you see, uh, you know, there's all this peril. They run to the building. Aliens are falling down. They, they're stuck on the door. There's, some, there's certain scenes that are awesome, right? And then they get to the end. Then they're running from the church, or they're running, they're not from the church anymore, they're in that bar, right? That bar or the restaurant. And they're running through, and they're like, gotta be quiet, and then Lupita Nyong'o just starts hitting cars like crazy, making noise. And you see the boat going along like this on the water, and you see Demon Hansu. And Joseph Quinn is making a run for it as all the aliens are chasing him, and he carries the cat and jumps in the water. And... And that, and then he escapes and goes to the boat, and he makes it on the boat. And Lupita Nyong'o, you just see her, you just see her crying like you made it. Little parallels I thought of it reminded me of uh, Evil Dead in the water when they jump in the lake, and it also reminded me of Free Guy when he makes it on that. <clears throat> a 
like in a free guy when he lands on the island and he's like, I made it, you know, similar to that type of thing. It's not I'm not comparing this movie to Free Guy, but I'm carrying I'm comparing it to that moment in Free Guy. So, anyway, um, I do I do have to say that, uh, or, and then you see Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, the final scene is you see Lupita Nyong'o standing there. The alien jumps down. She's like, or like she's like listening to music in her in her headphones, earphones. And she's like, I remember when it used to be quiet, but now I can just listen to music and blah, blah, blah. and then like an alien jumps out. And she's like, I'm fit, and the song's like, I'm feeling good. So I like I really like the end song there. I thought the film really worked as a whole, really well directed, well acted, great soundtrack. It's not a popping out soundtrack, but I think it's a soundtrack worthy in the horror front genre. So I liked it a lot. Um, future, I don't know where it's gonna go, but I'd like to see more. I don't know if we'll get a part three, if we'll get a just another spin off like this. I don't know. What I want to say is I like spin offs like these. You know, we got Evil Dead Part One. Evil Dead 2, I say part 1, Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2, we got Army of Darkness, you know, we got the Evil Dead show, we got Evil Dead 2013, and we got Evil Dead Rise, right? Things like that, I am a sucker for, I love the entire Evil Dead franchise, I, I, I'm a big, like I said, I've gotten more into horror, this is a movie that, or this is a franchise like this one in particular that I will watch, now I say spinoff, it's a prequel, but it's a really great prequel, it's not like a Star Wars prequel or a sequel, it's not like, you know, other prequels that, I mean, there are other good prequels, but this one really, really works. And if you have not seen it yet, I recommend checking it out in theaters. I'm going to give this one a generous 8.7 out of 10. I thought it was that good. Um, it's not the best. It's not the worst. So, yeah, it's 8.7 out of 10. If you, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Um, next film I'm seeing, I'm seeing Twisters next. So, stay tuned for that. Coming up July 19th. It's coming out then, and I'll be watching it, and I'll put my review out. Don't forget to come, stay tuned for Twisters, and after that's Deadpool and Wolverine, baby, claw, slice, slice, double X, swords, yeah. So I don't know what that meant, but you better stay tuned, because I got my friends. I'm teaming up with my friends from back at college, so we're gonna all going to go see that movie together. And um, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm, play, go. Peace out, everyone. Bye.